<sighs> oh boy. All right. <sighs> Not a figurine. So yeah, guys, I um bought this off of eBay. And I said that I wouldn't. I know it's not too exciting, but... I was curious, so... Let's just see. Apparently it's supposed to look really amazing. And... I had to get it for Soda Chat. So... Yes, guys, it is the Coca-Cola Creations, the Happy Tears box. <sighs> yeah, this is the one that was on TikTok, guys, that I said that I was not going to get because it was way expensive. But Curiosity Kills the Cat, and when I kept seeing all the pictures online of what this thing looked like, I had to get my hands on it. It, it, it has keys. Um, yeah, these are... Well, I thought they locked. They don't. <laughs> well, maybe they do, but... i to get that back on. Um, let's see if I can open this without damaging anything. Let's see here. So, yeah, it does come with keys. Um... <laughs> it's got a little teardrop. But, yep, yeah, this is the Coca-Cola Creations, the Happy Tears, Zero Sugar. I know, I said we would not do another Zero Sugar, but... Oh, wow. And, it's, and it has the tears on it. It's got some stickers. That's pretty cool. <laughs> okay, so here's what, here's what we're going to do. So we're just going to look over the box real quick, and i got to put one of these in the fridge so that we can try that later. But this is what you get, guys. You've got, first of all, you've got this little booklet here. Let's see. And no, I have no idea what this came with. I mean, you can tell on eBay, but this is so different. Stick and style your box. So I guess that's where all the stickers come from. You got for a crying out loud, you've got a unhappy smiley face, you've got happy tears, hashtag, happy tears something, and drops of joy. There's magic in being real, okay? And then I just love this coat creation one that's with the little teardrop. That's that's really cool. So I guess that's where those guys go. You've got I just love they give you tissues. I don't know who's gonna use that. They included a shirt. We'll look at that a little bit later, but here it is, guys. So this is the 2024 Happy Tears Zero Sugar Drops of Joy. Um, the can is kind of cold. Yeah, um, there's really nothing. I don't really like how it's beveled right here, or that's just like a sticker that they put on. Coke Zero with Happy Tears. It just doesn't seem legit. Like, it was just Coke Zero, and they just stuck that on it. I don't know. Do I like that? I think it's a cute design, but I don't know. Like I said, I did not pay a lot of money for this. I mean, the box itself is worth what I paid for. Um, they had several others on eBay, guys, so they are back now. But yeah, we're going to put one of these in the fridge, and I'll be back. That was two weeks ago, guys. Um, yeah. So, went to see Ghostbusters, the Frozen Empire. Great movie, by the way. I had gotten this on the exact day, I think. Or maybe it was the day before. And, as you saw, really cool stuff that came with the briefcase. I'm not complaining about it. Um... I just think that maybe I'm just going to stop doing these sugar-free things because out of the two that we have done already with the Fanta 
and the K-Wave, they just weren't that good. So I don't know if it's just because sugar-free just tastes bad to me, and I don't know. I really wanted to try this one because they really didn't put out a really decent co-creation for the late winter, springtime Coca-Cola stuff, and, and I don't know why. So we have the K-Wave, which I think is done. You have the Spice, which is going to be out probably until... May or June, and they'll switch to whatever. Nothing's been announced yet. But then you've got this one. This is the TikTok version, the Happy Tears. It is Coke Zero. Um, my sister probably would enjoy this more than I would because she likes Coke Zero. I just wanted to actually feature this because it is a very limited run. You cannot get these off of TikTok anymore. As stated, they were bought up eBay was selling them for about $85 to $100, and two weeks ago, actually three weeks ago at this point, I had bought it for $30, and I'm not complaining what I got, but that's this. I have to say, yes, the little teardrop on the can is cute. Uh, I do love that the drops of joy is kind of smudged. Oh, it's not smudged. It's kind of like re, uh, kind of a messed up and everything. What I don't like is that this bevel, this uh, kind of font right here, it looks like it's just stickers. I just don't like the way that that feels. It just looks like they heavily uh, kind of rush this. So, I don't know. Maybe that's just the way the effect is. It's drops of joy, happy tears. So, what does that mean? I don't know. So, like I said, I'm really having low, low hopes on this. Now, I'm going to give it a really high credit for the... The appearance is just awesome. I love that silver color to this. Um, and of course, I'm taking into consideration with the briefcase and all the stuff you get with it, the stickers and the, the fake keys that really don't open the box and the shirt. That being said, let's go ahead and put this drink to rest. And yes, I was upset back in February that I couldn't get my hands on this, but then I just kept thinking, why did I buy this? And this just smells like Coca-Cola. I have to say that the fizz is actually really nice. I've never had Coke Zero, guys, so bear with me on this. It just looks like a regular Coke, so. It smells like Coke, but it also has, there's an underlying bit to it that you can get from like either Diet Coke or uh, sugar-free Coke and all that kind of stuff. I don't know what it is, guys. Why are these sugar-free, uh, these zero sugar-free things? Why does it leave this horrible aftertaste? It's not as bad as the Fanta. That Fanta just tasted like mold, which was the Halloween season. It makes sense. But this, this hits you with a per, like just one split second of Coca-Cola, and then you get, I don't know. It's just that sugar-free kind of muddles everything else. At first, I... I got like this weird peach flavor, but now I'm not getting that now. Just that whole aftertaste is just blocking everything else, and yeah, I just don't like it. Um, I'm not upset for buying it. Hey, once it's done, it's done, you know? We're, we're, I'm going to review it, you know? There's no point in me bitching about spending $30 on something I knew I was not going to like. But the whole point of this show is to, to review sodas that maybe you have never had or even ever heard of. And by this point, though, you can probably still get them on eBay if you're a Coke Zero fan. If you are not, don't waste your time on this. Yeah, that's peaches. I don't know why the fascination with peaches. We've had Dream World, we've had K-Wave, and now we've had this. I do love that on the side here it says uh, not for retail sale, which is very interesting because, you know, I, I don't get these, like, you know, Peeps Pepsi was something, I think it was either on Twitter that you had to, like, uh, send Pepsi a request for it and then they would send it to you. This was a couple of years ago. But then, of course, they put Peeps Pepsi in all the stores for 2023. So, kind of defeated the purpose of that. I actually love Peeps Pepsi. I know, um... Is it Phantom Strider? I think Phantom Strider did a, a video on 
really bizarre and disgusting um, foods, and I think Peeps Pepsi was one of those. I actually liked it because it just tasted like a really good vanilla Pepsi, which is something they have not done in quite some time. But getting back to this, yeah, uh, I just don't care for it. And the thing is, though, I don't hate it. I don't hate it in the way that I did not like K-Wave, which I didn't want any more. And I certainly did not want any more of the Fanta Zero for Halloween. So, with that, I will probably finish this. Um, but that's it. There's really nothing special about this. And yes, that aftertaste kind of goes away. But it leaves this really dull, matted feel on your tongue. Especially in the back of the throat. That's probably just, you know, these diet and coke, uh, sugar-free stuffs. It's probably just what they do. I just don't see the point of it. I don't personally care for it. But that is it. We have finally gotten through the three Coke creations that have brought out this year. Coke Spice, Coke K-Wave, and Coke Happy Tears. Whatever the hell you want to call this. And that's it, guys. Let's get to the ratings. I mean, you already know that it's going to be low. I mean, I am going to probably give this full credit with the appearance because I absolutely love it. And I, I just love silver and I love the way that they did this. But I will see you next time. All right. Coca-Cola Happy Tears Zero Sugar Drops of Joy. Solid 10, guys, because the briefcase, all the goodies you get with it, and you get two cans of this. I love the silver. Not really too much about the sticker look of the happy tears and drops of joy. But the little teardrop that goes down, it has grown on me. And I do like how it kind of messes up the drops of joy. It's just a cute effect. So, solid 10 for that, like I said. The aroma, it just smells like Coke. Really nothing that's bad about that. But you know deep down it's not going to be good. Seven. And the flavor, I just don't care for it. I I just don't like sugar-free stuff. And this is probably where it's going to end with this, even if something else comes out that's kind of a limited edition, because it's just not going to be good. I am happy that I got it for a reasonable price and not paying 80 something dollars for this thing. 30 wasn't bad. For overall, 7 